All right, here we have sound. Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? This is going to be a whole lot of fun. We will just let everyone catch up. I started a minute or two early, just in case, you know, you know. Gail, oh, hi, Gail. I made it. I've missed so many videos with the gang. I'm trying to schedule around them. Oh, that's nice. Hello, Jennifer, my eagle-eyed friend there. Thank you so much for all your help with the website. Hopefully they're good. Cindy, yes, I'm ready. Awesome. Um, hi from hot Texas. Yeah, hot Canada. We're kind of warm today. Just, you know, a little bit. Not really a little bit, but a lot <laughs> for sure. Marianne says hi from Pennsylvania. Um, let's see. Good afternoon, Anne says. Good afternoon, my family. Hi, Arlen. Arlen's in the house. All right. Hello, someone else from Texas. Christine, that's awesome. Finally making a Monday live. All right. It is, um, I was able to get the design later today. Thank you, Sue. I fixed it. I worked on it. Thank you. I did see your order, so um, appreciate it. Cindy King, working and listening. We always appreciate that, Cindy King. And we say hi and all that good stuff. Isabel, hello, Isabel. Thank you for always joining us and being a moderator extraordinaire. How's that? <laughs> extraordinaire. I don't see any pink thread on her tray. Nope. It's kind of goldy. We're going to we're going to talk about that a little bit. Susan Williams, hey Sue and everybody. Love your wall of thread. Yeah, she has commercial machines, so she has a lot of everything. Pama, hello from Cardiff. Ooh, very nice in the UK. Diane says, "Hi from Austin, 102 degrees. Holy, that's warm." Uh Diane from Massachusetts. And uh, Lynn talking away. Rodog! I'm always happy when Rodog's here. Hi, Sue and the gang. Yay! Uh, all, the, all the best people are here already. No pink. No, no. It's orange, kind of. Kind of orange? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I lost one already. Isn't that awesome? I lost one of my... There it is. Took it with my keyboard. So today what we're going to do is make one of these. Now, I think this is really cool and if you guys like it i can make it a lot better like a lot fancier now i want to talk about the thread isn't this cute though and then the inside it's got the lines but this is cork fabric i have to find some leather um stuff my wall of thread was part of my prize oh that's awesome. That's a heck of a win there, Cindy King. We're also very proud of you. That's awesome. So it's hard to see the design because I use different thread. Um, and you can see that there's a couple of pieces hanging out there. Well, it's because I use this stuff, which is really beautiful looking. I don't know if you guys can see the sheen. And there's a little bit of sparkle. So it's orange with a little bit of sparkle and it's gun old and it's just beautiful but compared to king star metallic i don't know how many thread pillars i had but the reason there's there's some good ones the reason why it didn't show up is because i was constantly stitching with half the thread if that makes sense um yeah <clears throat> so i'm going to use king star metallic and I wanted to point out too, there's more than one gold color. So here's the gold I'm using, which is nice. It's right gold. Um, but look at this one. It's kind of like a copper gold. Isabel, hi Sue, thank you. Pretty thread. It is gorgeous, but it, it's better than regular metallic thread, but not King Star. And then this one, the orange one. Isn't that cool? So it's kind of copper, but I'm going to call it orange. I thought, wow, it matches almost too well. So I'm not going to use it. I want something that stands out so we can see the design. So what you need for this is, well, you can use fabric. I, I'm using this beautiful cork because I have it. So, 
If you're using fabric, then you need to put a iron on fusible backing on it because we want it to be stiff, right? You see how it holds its shape sort of thing. And I'll be making different sizes one like all together. I just want to see what you guys think of it. So I don't have to because you could see this is relatively thick and it holds its shape. But yeah, make it as stiff as you can. Two by eight so you can use scraps on it, which is perfect. You need one of these and these are kind of cool. Uh, you can get them on Amazon and they're not very expensive. I think I've probably had the same pile of them for 10 years. So, hmm. Uh, and it's really easy to use. And a pair of pliers, but not these ones. These ones aren't the greatest for it. As you can see, I kind of bent it. I got too excited, I guess, about finishing it and it's not straight. I don't think it really matters. You guys would have to look to see it, but bigger ones would be better. But you have to, when you are compressing it and making it stay, you have to cover it with something or cover, if you're gonna do a whole bunch of them, cover these. Because you don't want these marks. Do you see that there? See all this? That'll be uh, bent in to your um, thingy here. Um, vinyl, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So marine vinyl, not the HTV sparkly stuff, but you can use the HTV sparkly stuff, but you have to put a fusible back on it so it's nice and stiff. I'll be doing ones with fabric, just completely out of fabric. I'll be doing ones with a fabric inlay, and I'll be doing ones with the sparkle inlay. So anything goes on, on these. And like I said, I'll be doing different sizes. This is just uh, to let me know what you guys think if you want uh, you know, to do a whole bunch. Yeah, if you use, if you're vinyl, you have to interface it. Foam. I don't think foam would work, Lynn, because it rips too easily. However, that is an idea I could do designs on it in puffy foam that might be actually cool i made a dash hound one so that's kind of awesome too but as long the idea is don't use regular metallic thread can you see that it drives me nuts it drives me nuts because it broke like three times and it shouldn't have um it's got to hold its shape so fabric you need to have it stiff so it holds its shape and at the end, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks to be able to cut these perfectly straight. And it's with the ruler and one of these babies. And I figured out how to do it, so it's super easy. So it's kind of like applique, it's kind of like making a mug rug, but a little bit different from that. So, head on over to omlembroidery.com, the new website, which I'm still working on. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, and pick this up. It's like $2, $1.99. And that'll give me an idea if you guys want to do this or not. And I'll pursue it and make really, really fancy ones and gorgeous ones. So let's go to my Captain Jack and right here. And what I have loaded is I have the eight by eight hoop. Uh, I'm gonna be able to make smaller ones so they just won't have as much of a loop. So I have here, I just happen to have black, but this is really thick stabilizer. It's cutaway stabilizer. Now, if you wanted to use tearaway, that's perfectly fine. You won't be able to see it if you look here other than the thread hanging out that's still driving me nuts. You really can't see it, and I think the black looks nice. Uh, but you could use tearaway. Um, I wouldn't use the no-show mesh. You could, you could. Hi, Jesse. welcome, glad you're here, all that good stuff. Um, but again, you want it to be stiff. So this is about as thick as it gets for 
cutaway stabilizers so and it just happens to be black and it just happens to look good so 7511 needle of course happy face up here don't forget about that and uh i'm missing a googly eye and i was gonna fix it but i forgot so i'll get on that shortly and uh king star metallic gold thread because i think it's gonna show up a lot better than this i mean the sparkle in this in real life is really beautiful but you can't really see the design but i can see the little sparkles in it just maybe there's not enough i can't catch it on maybe i can catch it on the camera so susie says hi happy monday fran says hi from oklahoma uh jesse i already said hi isabel eyeballs yeah so this is it's easier than you guys think lynn you are gonna love this and i will make some that fit into your hoop so hopefully i've covered everything now the first thing we're gonna do of course is placement so using the eight by eight hoop you could do quite a few of them on like maybe th three. Oh, you didn't like my threading did ya Okay, I kind of heard that, but I was ignoring. So he's telling me to change the upper thread. Look, you can see a little bit of bobbin. Oh, it just got caught there. That's okay. So let's start that again. He likes to be threaded properly, my Captain Jack. Anyways, as I was saying, Captain Jack interrupting me, um, you could do more than one, and you could put, you know, one piece of vinyl over the the thick vinyl marine vinyl everyone calls it you could put a thick piece over and then cut it out after you could put a whole bunch on here they're not that thick that doesn't sound right again nope that's better so this is the placement and i'm actually using scraps of this absolutely gorgeous cork fabric hey are we stitching now look at that the bobbin wasn't catching so I'm going to wait till it does the middle part now the middle part is for you guys if you want to add a name the middle line is where the folds gonna be so that'll help you set it up so what I'm gonna do here because it missed the bobbin I'm gonna do a quick rewind of a color and I'm going to stitch that again because uh, I kind of want it to show. It looks like it's picking it up nicely, so I don't know why. It's King Star Metallic. It's King Star. It's not anything else. See, he really didn't like using anything else, you know? Yeah, no. So again, this line here is just for you if you have it on the computer if you have it on the machine so you can put the name so it fits exactly in here because that's where the fold is so it, it will help you don't want to have half the letters bent around the other side right <laughs> i know i know when embroidering on cork do you have to limit the density nope i haven't changed anything on my machine not a thing so like applique we're going to make sure that everything gets covered and we're going to stitch it down you guys are going to love how easy this is woo it's awesome i'm just going to hold it keep your hands out of the way oh i think that gold is beautiful i think it's going to show up way better so awesome yep happy with that all right so you can change colors for the design in the middle and have it like gold around the outside but i'm gonna leave it all gold and see how it looks maybe black would do whatever whatever works with it but the design is really pretty it's kind of a yeah oh, i love it that's so much better thank you king star metallic there we go so yes, I separated everything so you guys can be really um, creative on it. That's nice to know where the fold is. Yeah, it is. I thought of it 
because I thought if I was going to put a name, where the heck would I put it to set it up? And I thought, oh, I better mark it. Better mark it. So, yeah. Watch. Oh, and hello. Sue and OML gang watching from Virginia. Awesome. Fran says I got here a little late. You may have answered this, but will thin leather work? I... I've actually never done leather, however, the fake leather will work perfectly. I've got, just got to find my stash of it, and I'll be using it for the other ones. So, like I said, omlembroidery.com, it's right there, it's $1.99, and that's going to show me that you guys want more of these, because it's, yeah, pleather, that's the word, thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer's my savior today. She's She's got it all covered, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, they look professional. Once you learn the trick on how to trim it properly and evenly, it looks professional. I showed my kids. I said, look what I made. And they went, wow, mom, that looks great. They were like surprised that it was perfectly perfect. So yeah, a contrasting color would look great too. You could change each flower to a different color, you know, one or the other. As if I have anything covered, oh, you're funny, I know. What size is it? For now, this is in the eight by eight hoop, um, but I wanna see what everyone does with it. But obviously if I do it in a five by seven, it's gonna be shorter than this, smaller than this which is not a problem. I could also do a bigger one. So this one would be like this for your keys, um, but one that actually fits around your wrist. So I'll probably have three sizes to do. And there'll be some, like I said, that'll have fabric on it, some that'll have HTV down the middle. They're gonna get really fancy. I've got all my ideas um, set up, but I just wanted to introduce you guys to it and uh, see what you thought. So we're almost done, believe it or not. The trickiest part is um, just the trimming. And if you can master the trimming with a rotary cutter or scissors, you know, that's fine. Love this and the look of the cork. Yes, I love it. So I'm happy with the gold. It shows up much better than the sparkle. Now we are on our last step, believe it or not. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it looks, yeah, you can really see it. It's pretty. So we're gonna go back to the desk and I'm gonna show you guys one trick that I did. So if you're looking here, let's zoom you in a bit. See if I got it, yeah. There you go. Now you can really see that's perfect. So you can see this is the placement line on the outside and this is the, the middle line on it. So when you're trimming, you actually do have a trimming line. So you're gonna be trimming to the outside. If you wanna make it thicker, you, you could do it if you want. So crosswise, yes, they'll fit any which way so you could do a whole bunch of them like I said and then just do a sheet but that is the outside one is your cutting line I tried to make this as easy as I could so even if you just take your time slowly with scissors you'll still be able to get a nice one nice cut and it's important that you take your time so like when we're doing um, mug rugs we're gonna put, this is the back of the hoop, remember? And we are going to put it face up so it is the right way. There we go. Just a little bit of uh, tape and make sure you don't push too hard on this side. We're gonna like secure it down a little bit better in a minute when I turn it over. Cause if you push there, you might, uh, you might move everything and we really don't want that because we want the outline to be precise. So what I do is this, put it down, always have a flat surface. And now this isn't gonna move anything. So it's nicely down. You don't want any 
edges like that coming up because it might get stuck. If it does, it does. So now we can go back to the machine and we are going to do the last step and then we're going to trim it. So I think you guys will be really impressed how professional these look because I, I love it. I was so happy. So I'm still going to use my gold. Like I said, you could change colors. I mean, black and gold would look amazing on this. And we're going to do a little bit of a thicker stitch. And what this is doing is giving it a decorative border. And then it's also sewing the back part on as well. So I wanted something thicker, basically. So I think it looks good. I love metallic. I love Kingstar metallic, not a single break. And I swear I had like four and I had so many thread pillars. I was going to call the, um, the, uh, ah, I saw that coming. I should have fixed that when I saw it. My thread got tangled and it was my fault. So let's do it again. Not Kingstar. That was all on me. It got twisted. Oh my. There we go. No. Nope. It's got a little twist in it. Hold on. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but whoo. All right. Let's do it again. Perfect there. And I am going to rewind it because I really, really want the thicker line to show up. So, yeah. King Star Metallic. I love it. Four times, I think. And I had to sit here and watch because when you get a, sometimes when you get a thread a pillar, you really can't see it until, you know, it's making a stitch here. And then it's like, how long have I been stitching with? half the thread geez so that's why king star metallic is amazing so i'm gonna go back a little bit to where i can see that should be good and let's finish this off right love the contrast of the metallic thread thank you i love it this is what i wanted in my demo one but i was like wow okay i messed that up when I use Kingstar, my Stellaire, it messes up my auto threader. Really? Really, it doesn't on mine. I don't know if I've ever heard that. I'm sorry that happens though, but it's still worth it, right? It's still worth it. Okay, so perfect. I love it. I'm really happy with that. Happy music. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Jack. And I always flip over. Perfect. Now you could have changed the bobbin here um, if you wanted to put gold on it. You could have changed the bobbin to match. I didn't think it mattered too much, but if you want that um, perfect look, then change it. But I'm okay with it. Like to me, it doesn't really show much. Like I know it's there, but Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take it out of the hoop. And I only did one, so it's a little bit of a waste. A little bit. And what I'm going to do for just, you know, demonstration purposes is I'm going to just cut a little bit of this off so it's not all over the place. Better, better camera shot. So nice and thick, which is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. So this is just, you don't have to bother with this step, but I, I just didn't think I could do it very well otherwise. And I'm going to zoom in as we talk about it. So I'm going to put my hardware over here. Everything's out of the way. And to trim it, we're going to turn it around. And so we have the line and we're gonna know see we can see this one here it's not going to be all that helpful but it's going to give you an idea you can always peek and put your ruler down um with doing them crosswise possible yeah everything it's an eight by eight hoop and these are smaller than eight by eight so 
So yeah, if you have scissors, that's how I would do it. It's right there and you could cut and look and cut and look and it would be perfect and it's worth taking the time. But I have a rotary, rotary cutter and here's the trick. So any ruler that you have has the lines here. There's a long one, you guys can see that, and there's short ones. This is a Missouri Star ruler, that's why it's green. Um, let's see, so long ones and short ones. So the way I'm gonna do this, you could line it up with one of the lines, but I think that's too thick because you have to remember that this fits around it. You could do bigger edges if you wanted, but I'm going to move it down and this is how you get it straight. So I'm doing the longer ones and I'm lining it up with the line. I don't know how well you guys can see, but hopefully I'm explaining it. So I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. Remember the hoop mat is not, I say not, <laughs> uh, a cutting mat. So you don't, you want to have one. I cut it proper cutting mat. So let's just do that again and we'll get cutting it. So lining up the longer, now it doesn't matter how you're putting it, you're not measuring, we're just placing. So as carefully as you can, and then you're gonna hold it down with one hand, make sure your rotary cutter is sharp. I have the big one, but the 45 inch will do perfectly. And it's better to do rotary cutting standing up. So I'm gonna actually do that because you get a little more leverage and I keep doing the wrong thing because I'm used to it on my table. You can hear that go. And now you're cutting through two pieces of cork. So if you have to go over it again, oh, I missed a little bit there. Look at that. That is how you make a perfect cut. So I made it a little wider than I normally would, but I thought it would be easier for you guys to see. Professional, it's straight, it's perfectly straight. And look, the black on the inside is okay. I think it looks really good. So once you decide um, short lines or long lines, let's see, I want here, I want two of them so I can keep it straight. And see, once you know the tricks to stuff, it uh, makes it a whole lot easier. So it's looking good. You guys notice I didn't take the tape off because I was pretty sure I was gonna cut it off. So matching here, matching the long line. Let's see, move it up. The long line with the stitched line perfectly. Take your time at this part, stand up to cut, hold the ruler nice and tight. It's good for your muscles. And I probably need a new blade is the reason why it's kind of hacking a little bit. I have rogue thread, but look at that. Aren't you guys impressed at how easy that is? I, I'm, I'm so happy. It, it makes all the difference. I thought anyways, to have nice straight lines. Of course, you could pre-cut them if you wanted, but you don't really need to. This takes less time. So isn't that awesome? Oh, that didn't cut through. Oh, it was too short. Whoops, I guess I should have looked at that. Oh, well, that's okay. It's on the top part, so we won't notice. So what had happened, uh, this was the short end and yeah. Key fob hardware, yes. I can't remember what it's called. I should have looked that up. Um, so look, isn't that beautiful? Would you guys like that? Ooh. So now what we're gonna do, now remember I left a little more on each side. I would actually, I'm gonna go trim it down a little more. But this sits on top. So you can see if you make it a little bit bigger that um, it still looks good. It's fine. Um, but you have a little bit of hangover, not a hangover, like drinking hangover. So I'm going to show you how I do it. And I'm going to show you 
why you need bigger ones and why you need to do it with um, with it covered. So I just squeezed one end a little bit. Now I'm realigning it because I want it to basically be on the edge because I've made it thicker. Can you guys see that? Yes. So just a little bit. So make sure you have coverage. Um, Amazon calls it key fob hardware. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Barbara, for looking that up for us. So um, you don't want the marks in it. So I did the first one. Can you see the mark? And see how it's bent and it's not bent evenly? That's what I'm talking about. Now, I still don't have it tight, so I have a minute to... Um, line everything up it, it moves a little bit and then take you know basically you want a bigger one that you can just go and have it done so I fiddled around but honestly this is how you should be doing it this is what I did place it cover it to protect it and then you know squeeze it down so I didn't quite have the right tools I don't think I have any tools left but you know, whatever, work with what you got. I just took my time doing it on the other one, but you want it nicely clamped down. See, it's easy to do. And look at that. Isn't that awesome? This one's better than the other one. I could still do it a little bit more if I covered it, I guess. But you see, that's why it's, it's too short to get all the way over here. And if I were to really push down on it, it's going to warp this part so I need to get the middle part that's why you have to have bigger ones so I can go maybe sideways um, these are the troubles I had but if you take your time if this is all you have I mean that's what I did and it didn't look too bad at all isn't that nice and then they come with a little ring so you can hook your keys to it so I hope you guys will make these. Um, the proper thread looks way better and cutting it smaller, I think looks a little bit better. So on this ruler I used for the smaller one, I used the shorter lines. So you can see it actually really well. So there's the long ones and then there's a really short and then a medium short, but it, it doesn't make that much of a difference so but that's how you do it line it line it up like I showed you and if you're careful enough see and I could go and trim this but you see that is gonna be perfect I'm I'm doing the the short short ones can you guys see that let me move it so you can see the line so see the line I'm working with and then you move it and you line up from here to here and then you've got it so if you don't have a rotary cutter, you could also do this trick and make yourself a line. And if you had nice tulip pink scissors, you could cut right through it. So there's lots of ways of doing it. You don't have to have anything too special except for these things. And if you like the thicker edge, go for it. If you like the thinner edge, I mean, there is a decent difference. Look at, look at the motif on it. Isn't that beautiful? And like I said, you can change the bobbin thread, but I don't think it shows too much. Then we can um, make different things with it as well. Um, like we can make tassels, we can do a little bit of freestanding lace. So the creativity is up to you. You can use whatever colors, you can use any fabric, go into your scrap bin if you want and just make sure it's stiff and you interface it. We will be working with different um, fabrics and different ideas and different placements. So we'll, we'll get all used to it and it's awesome. So um, grab it, try, this is a new technique. It looks professional. It really looks professional. I'm going to, after the show, I'm gonna trim this down and then I'll take a, a better picture. But yeah, and imagine if you had a name right here, cause you could put the background stitching and put a name right here too. I think that would be really good in the, it's almost like quilting in the back. So 
tons of ideas, guys. This is something completely new. Look how perfectly I did that. Can you see that? Look at that. It's perfect. And it wasn't that hard to do. So, Lynn, I'll make some smaller ones for you, hon, and you can do this because what a great gift this would be for anybody. So, get buying them. It's only $2. It's a new skill. They're super easy to do. That didn't take any time to do. And um, let me know if you guys want me to do more because I have some fantastic ideas and I think it's going to be really a lot of fun because I can add a little bit of Sue into everything I do. This one's a little bit plain, but and I'll put them in bundles so it's easy. So Barbara Jones says, lovely design. These are fun to make. It really is. It really is. And if you personalize them, my goodness, you could sell these anywhere. You could give them as presents. Of course, you have to put the ring on it. Um, and they look like you bought it. So awesome. So don't forget to guys, Thursday, join me um, and Eileen Roche. It's uh, one o'clock standard time, or no, two o'clock her time, one o'clock Eastern S standard time, the Between Friends, because I'm gonna be on it again. It's that time of the month that we are going to uh, do the project of the week and then Saturday we'll be stitching it out so make sure you the gang shows up because she gets such a kick out of that um, put holes in the middle to run ribbon through them I have amazing ideas like that absolutely and I think they are gonna look absolutely gorgeous like fancy fancy is what we're gonna do so yes yeah, so Thursday I'll see you guys on Thursday I'm so excited she does the best projects and I think it's going to be awesome so Thursday be there or be square thank you everybody for watching I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys head on over to omlembroidery.com and try this it's easier than you think and you could play with the fabric you could play with the thread it's awesome so i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye everyone oh i love it i love it